So the moral of the story of wait for God is that I can wait for God all I want to. I can put my trust in the Lord and know that He has brought a plan for me that's larger than life. But everyone and their brother wants to hit in their version of what the Lord thinks of their life. Think of all the pastors out there that want to hit somebody in rebuke of the Lord in their version of God. But they really don't have God's permission to do it. And they really aren't supposed to be doing it because that's evil and it's ill will. And it's not God's will like they think it is. A lot of pastors that do evil, unlawful, illegal, immoral things say they're doing it for their God. Well, good for you. But God never told you to kill someone. God never told you to harass someone. God never told you to be a marvelous bastard of Satan. God never told you to do the things you've done. Steal mail, invade personal space, read someone's journal, pass it around, take someone's historic newsletters and give them out. God never told you to do that. Jesus Christ never told you to do that. Allah never told you to do that. So please don't tout that you're a person of faith when what I see about you is nothing of faith. I don't see a person of faith there. Now, you don't have to be a person of faith to regard the Lord. But a foolish person will always use their faith to abuse someone, and that's immoral. Now, some people say, well, well you rebuke people. You complain about this. Said, no, I'm making observations. And my observations are validated by the Lord's house. Because when God says, go here, I go there, and I find what I need. When God says, go there, I go there, and I find the lesson that I'm supposed to have. But every single time God aligns me with the person I'm supposed to be on the path with, I'm supposed to take that journey through and beyond, <laughs> beyond measure, you know, into infinity and beyond, as a joke from that film, that's animation, right? With the cowboy and the space guy and all that that my kids used to love as a child. The reality is another human being taints that relationship. And that's immoral. In America, we have rights. You don't have the right to hit someone on your version of what you think God thinks of their life. You don't have the right to rebuke someone in your version of the Lord when the Lord doesn't speak through you in any prophetic gifts at all. If you come and hit on my life, if you come and whack on my life, if you come and pretend you're in my life, I will read your fucking faggot ass to the floor. Because your lie was, I'm going to steal this from you, I'm going to break your computer, I'm going to downsize you, I'm going to make you pay for my misery in life. And I sit there and I think, wow, all that stuff's in my past, it's still valuable to me. It gives me a baseline to be able to show people who I used to be, but who God is going to raise me up to be in terms of an army that will crush the mighty you, the mighty evil you, is amazing to me. Because whether I'm alive or dead, I will be fighting for the Lord's house. And God's promise to me is if you fucking kill me with your stupid ass black plague and all this other shit you've been playing with every day and your alcoholic drug induced stupors, God's going to let me come back and reap you and every member of your fucking family. Because that's the God that I worship. That's the God that's listed in the Bible. God says, I am the Lord your God. You are not.